was more than impressive, I have to say. I mean, the track is identical to the real track. I was blown away how realistic it is. Every little bump, every little spray paint, everything is exactly like you are there at the track. It was a great experience. This is a warm-up lap now. Tires to get warmed up. The engine. Breathe a little bit here when you go through that little bump there. And then it's flat pretty much all the way through here, just about. Hard braking. This is the slowest part of the track. And then I've done, you know, I did many races in Formula 3, Formula 2. And then in the, I did the very last race they did there in Group C in 1983 in the 956 Porsche. That's when Beloff got the lap record at the 6.11. I, I, was, I think I was second on the grid with the 6.14 or something, which was, I mean, those cars were awesome around there, of course, like any car is, you know, that speed. And this is the corner of all corners here, the Sweden Kreuz. Flat all the way into it. And then trail break all the way into the apex here. And then hard at it again to get good speed down the hill here mega fast down this hill here. Just jump from one apex to the next. Got to be super precise here. I mean, it's almost exactly like the real thing. So, I mean, it is certainly realistic enough to get past the very, you know, a lot of the initial hurdles you have when you try to learn to drive a race car, you know. So, I mean, I think it's, a, it's an excellent tool to, to learn how to race, for sure, or learn to drive a car on a racetrack. Yeah.